Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on how to reset the G1, um, the grease interval on an Eaton Ultra Shift transmission. Um, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to open this inspection cover right here, take this bolt loose, and I'll be right back. Okay, inspection cover is open. Now you're going to use this, this uh, zerk fitting and this zerk fitting to um, put the grease in, the one with the send flex right here. This one is the one for the throw bearing, and you can see it. Okay, so what you're doing is you're greasing the throw bearing. It's hard to get the right angle. But grease the throw bearing until you see a little bit of grease come out of the front of it, not the top or the bottom, but the front out onto the shaft. And then you want to grease the top uh, Zerk fitting till you, uh, that, that's what greases the shaft that the throw bearing slides on. And it's kind of hard to see, but once you, you know, once you get your head up there, you can see it. So I'm going to close this up, and we'll uh, go back up on top, and I'll show you how to reset the indicator. Okay, so we're back. We're up in the cab. This is where the magic happens. Um, and on this particular truck, it seems like it is set to uh, about every 250 hours is when the grease center volt comes, comes up. And it comes up. Here's the indicator. It tells you what gear you're in. And here's the shift panel. So... So what you do, you turn the key on, okay, hit the low mode, okay, now using the upshift button, we're going to go up to three, there's zero, one, two, three, Oop. three, so when you get it to the three, you want to push down on the throttle pedal, Okay, and hold the pedal until you get the down arrow. Okay, once you get the down arrow, release the pedal. It'll go back to zero. Then you want to turn off the key so it holds the um, so, so it holds the setting. Okay, so we're going to turn that off. We're going to put the transmission in neutral, and we're going to wait till you hear the transmission go into neutral. Okay, so the transmission went back into neutral. So now we're going to turn the key on. Okay. Comes up with neutral. Now when we fire the truck up, the G1 light will be out and it'll just go back to neutral. All right, there you go. So that's how you reset that on the Eaton Ultra Shift transmission. And man, it is a hot one today. Good luck, and I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.